So now we come to the granular generator. In some ways, it's similar to the sample generator. You use recorded audio material as the source here too. But where the sampler is set up to play back samples more or less in real time and reproduce sounds faithfully, the granular generator is set up to chop your audio sources into tiny little pieces called grains and rearrange, reorganize, and reimagine them until something wild and new appears. Just as in the other generators, you have these standard level, pitch and phase controls. And like the sampler, there's a display of the currently selected sample with a playhead. But pretty much everything else you see here is unique to the granular generator. So let's walk through it. Firstly, instead of simply playing the sample, starting at the playhead, each key press creates a voice which consists of grains, small pieces of the sample, defined in length and shape by this grain envelope, and in number by this parameter here. You can either specify a grain density, how many grains should be heard simultaneously, or trigger grains by tempo synced beat division, or by hertz frequency. The length of each grain in time can be key tracked or not. If we're key tracking, then a one second long grain will be shorter at higher frequencies than the root, and longer at lower frequencies. To account for playback speed of the sample and ensure your grain covers the same portion of the sample regardless of pitch, if not, it'll be one second wherever you play it on the keyboard, so higher pitches, which play back the sample faster, will use more of the sample to get to one second. These arrows define where, in relation to the playhead, the grains should start. If we introduce some position randomness, we can see the grains are starting at random places in the sample, either searching only forwards from the playhead, or both forwards and backwards. Along this row, we have the option to randomize various other features of the grains, their timing, pitch, volume level, pan position, and whether they're reversed. At 50%, half the grains generated will play in reverse. Here, of course, you can cycle through different samples or open the sample browser to choose different source recordings. And if you click on the pop-out icon, you come to the sample editor discussed in an earlier video. Then there are these two switches. Align phases forces the grains to play back in phase with one another as far as possible with regard to the fundamental frequency of the sample to give a clear, strong tone where there's one to be found in the sample. Obviously, atonal or inharmonic samples won't give this feature much to work with. Warm start changes the grain generating behavior so that in a case where you have multiple grains playing at once, the full density is present at the moment a note starts rather than building up over time. Good for a strong attack. And finally, the chord panel allows a single note press to trigger grains up and down a chord or scale according to four different patterns. Sweep up, sweep down, sweep up then down, or random. The range in octaves can be changed here. And the type of chord or scale here. This generator is good for all kinds of sounds, from the percussive to the cloudy, from the angry to the divine. So take some time to experiment and have fun with it. Then we'll move on to look at effects in the generator section.